dude, the way he kept saying, we have to identify the Arab is still in the room. And I was like, bro, TSA's been saying the same shit for years, bro. <laughs> family. They're from Tamil Nadu, India. I'm from Pakistan. I was born in Hyderabad, India. I'm from Bangladesh. I was born in Bangladesh. And I am the Arab. Uh, I'm actually Mexican. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, so where did I grow up? I grew up in uh, Kuwait and then Toronto. I grew up in Ohio. I grew up somewhere in South Asia. Somewhere? Somewhere. Where exactly? Somewhere. Yeah. I grew up in India. Okay. Two thirds of my life in uh, Bangladesh, and um, the rest one third in Queens, New York. Half of my life in Bangladesh, and now in New Jersey. I grew up in Connecticut. So my game plan uh, initially was to find who who's Arab. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting an imposter, and he'd do everything to uh, fake his accent. I was gonna lean on as much as what I knew about Daisy culture as possible and try to hit any of the highlights. I have a cricket question. How many players will be in the field of cricket, including the batsmen? I should have known cricket was gonna come up. I should have known cricket was gonna come up. Like, dude, I don't even know, bro. I don't know how many people are on a baseball team, let alone how many people play cricket. Man. I need to wait and hear what everyone else is gonna say. And as soon as they say what they're gonna say, I can say what I need to say. Um, I would say 13. Perfect. Hmm. Yes, 13. <laughs> yeah, 13. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I didn't watch cricket or so. I didn't what watch- What sports like, did, did you watch? <laughs> I watched a lot, right? I watched tennis, track, um- You watched basketball. track? Yeah. Where I grew up, I really didn't have that many Indian influence near me or that many South Asian um, descent. You know, there's that huge stigma that all Desi people are heavily involved in cricket and they know a lot about it. But you know, growing up, my dad was heavily invested, but me personally, I find it, I didn't really find it that interesting to like watch. Go NBA player. Go Russell Westbrook. Bro. Best ever, I'm sorry. Bro. This dude says Westbrook as your favorite NBA player in the world, man. Like, I don't know if you've watched basketball in the last, I don't know, 20 years, but I could list like 10 players who are better than Westbrook. Michael Jordan. Oh uh, yeah. But Six rings, bro. My favorite player is Russ, that's why. Yeah, but who's the, is he the best that ever played the game? To me, in my eyes. That's not an answer. That's objectively, that can't be your answer. For him to like double down, he's like, yeah, MJ won, Westbrook too. Like, dude, Westbrook's not even in the top five. That's that's my favorite player, you know? I have MJ at number one, Russ at number no, two. No, you don't. Like, this is being filmed, bro. I'm trying to help you. I'm, I'm, I'm the comment the sections truth. are gonna destroy you for this. That's man. fine. You know, I'm pretty passionate about sports like basketball and stuff, and I'm pretty heavily invested in it. The fact that he was able to talk about basketball and other sports, it really made me, you know, feel more uh, welcomed. Russ is underrated. I could go on a whole entire script about him. How much time do we have we for this kind of going We can do it script. after. We got six dudes up here, all blindfolded. Like, we have no idea what's going on. I might as well just have a really good time and be my full self. And if I get caught, I get caught. So what are you all like spice levels? Oh, mine's high. Like, like I can get the hottest thing. I'm with you on that. My spice levels are pretty high. What about you? Mine are pretty high. Like how high? <laughs> Well, how high are yours, bro? Like, what do you mean? How are you supposed to respond to that? You ask for like, what's your scale? I don't know my scale, bro. I I like mild. Um, so you don't like spice? No spice at all. You don't like no, any spice? No. Cricket master doesn't like spice? No. <laughs> no. I kind of tricked them with saying, oh, my spice level is five. I don't eat spicy. They might have a little sense that, oh, number four might be Arab. When some of them said mild, that really threw me off because I do know these people have a high uh, spice tolerance. That question kind of backfired and it confused me even more. What's everyone's favorite cultural food? I love um, beef nihari with garlic naan. I love biryani. I like uh, fish and curry. When he said uh, he loves fish and curry, I knew he was from my country. I like biryani too. And uh, number four, what kind of biryani is your favorite? Mutton biryani. He's calling oh, you out, bro. That's, yeah. He's calling you out. We are blood brothers, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, love mutton, I love mutton biryani, too. That's it, brother. Right after, right after yeah, we're gonna get together. Sure. Yeah. How do y'all pronounce H-U-M-M-U-S? H-U, okay. Uh, hummus. Hmm, okay. Right after I asked that uh, hummus question, 
Um, I really knew right away because he, it sounded like he was taking his time to say hummus, but then he still ended up with like struggling to say the H. Humes. Humes? <laughs> H-U-M-M-E-S. This guy got here yesterday, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let's go in order. Humus. All right. Let's go in order. Order yeah. hummus. I try to give like the softest hat as possible. I was like, hummus. Like I was trying my best to sound as white whitewashed as possible, but you know, I just I couldn't resist giving a little bit of hat to it. Four number hummus. Hummus. Uh, I use pronouns humus. Round one. All right. Okay. Woo! Woo! Who do you guys think is there? Number two said he was born in Kuwait, so I decided to take my chance with him. I knew the moment I said I lived in Kuwait, I kind of knew that, you know, a lot of people would judge me for that and they'd be like, oh, this guy is the one who, you know, is the Arab. So I kind of knew it was coming. I was hoping it wouldn't come because I wanted to stay in and be, be there for longer. What does everybody do for a living? So I'm an aerospace engineer. Oh my god. Wow. wow. That's nice. Impressive. Mashallah. Aero, aerospace? That's, yeah. that's mashallah. Yeah, that's it's mashallah, awesome. man. That's a big achievement. I'm a tech consultant. Hmm. I am a data scientist. Data scientist. I'm a software engineer. I'm a cashier. What? You're what? Sorry? Just uh, doing cash uh, in a shop. Oh, that's good. You, you're a student uh, or something? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yes. awesome. What are you studying? studying? Hey, um, computer science. Computer science? Computer oh, wow. science. All right, so what dating apps do you guys use? Uh, Salams and Hinge. I use only Salams. Salams is the best one. <laughs> Keep it halal, guys. Come on. That, Keep it halal. How much does that cost them, bro? No, how, much, how much does that cost that, them? That's going to be the front page of the video. What languages do you guys speak and do you guys speak it at home at all? Usually, uh, they see people or like South Asian descent, they always try to teach their children some, for, some form of language. I speak Bengali at home. Indian, French, I speak Hindi too. Nice. In home, I speak Bengali. I speak Tamil, um, uh, which is an Indian uh, language, and I speak English. I speak English, Arabic, and Hindi. Just English, a little bit of Arabic, a little bit of Urdu. Okay, mm. cool. Mix. He asked me what language we speak at home. And technically, technically, because my mom doesn't speak Arabic, we speak English at home. So I wasn't lying. But then the dude next to me says, uh, he speaks Urdu and Arabic. And I was like, oh, I got this. Like, this is in the bag. I mean, I can I can divulge Arabic a little bit. And then I added the Urdu at the end, just as like a protection for myself, because my Daisy friends have taught me a little bit of Urdu. So it technically wasn't a lie. What do you know about Urdu? I gotta just like say something in Urdu. <laughs> Baby, go bitch. Wow. <laughs> when he spoke Urdu and um, knew more stuff uh, regarding the other question, I was like, oh, that, that really threw me off. When he actually started to speak, I was kind of surprised. Everybody say something in Spanish too, bro. Let's just cover all the Hola, languages. Gracias, that's all I know. De nada. Yeah. <laughs> bro, number six is killing it. Yeah. Number six is killing it. I think number six and I could potentially be best friends after this. Uh, I'm gonna see if he accepts my follow request. What y'all mama beat you guys with? A wooden spoon, she broke it in half on my behind, bro. <laughs> in front of my friends, dog. This was the most embarrassing day of my life. <laughs> wooden spoon, metal spoon, belt, whatever it takes, whatever you said, she what? grabs the belt in her hand, like, like that's it. Just your dog, I'm just, the, just. I'm on the same boat. Yeah, man. I love my mom, by the way. Case of my mother, she beats me with like hangar, steak, <laughs> with rice bowl. Rice bowl. Rice bowl. Wow. Rice bowl. Small subjects. Whatever she finds near her, okay. she used to beat it with me. Okay. Like he, she used to use it. But you still love your mom, though. Yes. Okay. Just with your hands. <laughs> But, uh, no, bro, like an OG, but, oh, yeah. 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 But she said, I don't need no tools, bro. <laughs> I used to get hit by my mom and my teachers at school. Wow. Teachers? Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, talking well, about I mean, you were, yeah, you were And my cricket that's, coach that's sometimes. Mm. Yeah. So, we're gonna allow you guys to vote. I'm gonna go and see Clint's.
Since the beginning, I was 100% sure that number five is Arab, for sure. He said Bangladesh, and usually, you know, Bengali people, they say Bangladesh, so that really threw me off. I'd say I grew up like two thirds of my life in uh, Bangladesh, Bangladesh, Bangladesh. Yeah, how did you feel when they took you out and you knew they were wrong? The only possible explanation I have is uh, the way I said Bangladesh. Bangladesh, Bangladesh. Because that's how people are outside of my country or South Asia pronounce it, but people from South Asia pronounce it as Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Well, I guess people can have bad guesses. I can just live with that. Would you marry your cousin? Absolutely not. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Okay, like first cousin? Let's qualify. I'm gonna give second. you a second chance here. Far cousin. You marry your second cousin? Far. Far I'll cousin. listen. I'll that's fine. <laughs> oh, I would like to meet uh, new people from new culture. That's the answer. That's the reason why? I will not marry my cousin. I want to meet with new people. <laughs> that 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 question threw me off guard. Me personally I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I have a question. Do you guys know anybody personally who's married their cousin? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's still an issue that we need to address. When I was 22 years old, uh, I got offer from my uncles that I should marry my cousins, but I rejected them. I like oh. I several times. Number six, uh, you're a king among men. Yeah. Let me tell you that. There's a big difference between culture and Islam. Culture, you know, mo some people would be like, oh, I have to control her, blah, blah, blah. But that's very haram. If you look at it, the way that Prophet Muhammad uh, brought, you know, went off with his wives and everything, you know. He treated them with the utmost respect, gave them freedom, everything, you know. And there was that level of respect between both of them, whereas she knew, you know, she, uh, she knew what to do to make him happy and he knew what to do to make her happy. And he would help his wife, wife, wives. You know, you know nowadays there's like that misconception, oh, women can't work, but what was Khadija radiallahu anha? She was a business person before he, he they even married. Very successful. And he's exactly, Very successful. exactly. So, to make her give up exactly. So now if you look at it culture wise, there's a lot of people who are like trying to be controlling or like, no, my wife can't do this, do that. But you know, that just means they don't trust them and they're not looking at it Islamically first and foremost and being yeah. misconstructed. Does outside of your culture mean that you marry someone else who's Daisy or would you also marry someone like who's completely different from your culture? I'd say completely different um, or even Daisy. It doesn't really matter. It more so matters about the personality compatibility all that. I don't know. I don't know. Like it's just, it's about the person. I think culture plays a very important role, but I think at the end of the day, it's, it's the person that you're you're marrying matters the most. I'm, I'm open to all, but um, as long as the goal has to be nice and kind, understanding of uh, the culture and be respectful, and I be respectful, vice versa, you know? <laughs> but I mean, it's honest. I love the like, game. <laughs> yeah. So it's all about marriage. Right, we're trying, yeah, we're trying to figure out. Which one to get rid of? So my question for number three was, what's your favorite South Asian dessert? I like Rasmalai. 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 Lassi? Yeah, Lassi. I don't know any desi desserts, bro. I eat like kanafe. Like, that's what I like, you know? Ishta. Like, these are my desserts. And now they're asking me about, like, desi desserts. And all I could think of was mango lassi, which isn't even really a dessert. And the second one was jalepi, which is just, like, from the song, jalepi baby. Jalepi oh, wow. baby. That's yeah. what they said. So, going to wrap up, I would say, round three. Okay. I'm gonna let everyone vote. So, um, number three, you've been eliminated. In round one, I was like, okay, this it has to be him. But then uh, when he spoke Urdu and um, knew more stuff uh, regarding the other question, I was like, oh, that, that really threw me off. Did you know it was the error? Mm, yes. I got suspicious. He didn't mention any like proper daisy food. I asked about the desert, so he didn't prop he, he didn't properly answer that question. If everybody wants to take off their <laughs> Oh, I'm taking off? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. Wow. wow, wait up. Amazing. Oh, oh my eyes were just wow. My my eyes are crazy. I'm dizzy, bro. I'm dizzy. I like this dude, man. <laughs> I voted you out every single time. <laughs> 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 Who's the best friend that you can walk away with? Today? <laughs> number number three. <laughs> me, I feel like me and him vibe pretty well today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good job. Yo. <laughs> Wait, so we got the ring, right? Yeah, okay. I was first of all, I was first of all.
first one out. Oh, oh damn. Oh, you're a good one. That's all I like, bro. That's all I like. We're short and sweet, but it's all good, bro. That's all I like. Abbas. Abbas? I'm Ron. I'm Zayd. Nahi. 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 Nazar. I definitely feel like I relate to the South Asian culture. Uh, just because growing up, I hung out with primarily, you know, the Desi community. I had a lot of Desi friends. Most of my best friends are Desi. And so I have a lot of love for the culture, a lot of respect for the culture. And I, I've seen what wonderful people come from that culture. I'm really happy. I'm over the moon, actually, um, to be a part of this program. Thank you, Salam. Assalamu alaikum.